Welcome to Kay Nicole After Dark, where we talk about relationships in a sexy way. Wednesday, we got the wine, we got the jazz playing, and we are going to talk honey, okay? So anything that you have missed on past episodes, be sure to click the link in my bio so you can check out my YouTube, subscribe, like, all that great stuff. Um, so, okay, so I want to get into it real quick because I'm going to stop the the jazz to play the clip that a friend of mine brought to me, right? Because they are so stuck on this Lori Harvey um, conversation, like it's crazy. So I want to do a breakdown, right? Because I had seen, let me just stop this for a minute. I had seen that um, they sent me her, her, her TikTok, right? And the TikTok um, said some, you know, about how she felt about relationships, and they were like, hey, how do you feel about this? You know, since you're always talking about relationships. And again, my background is in marriage and family therapy. So um, we want to discuss it tonight. So um, they sent me, let me play the link. And then we'll go into it. And set your standard talk. So. Okay. Let's play the. Negotiables are. And then don't ever waver on them. And I feel like oftentimes. We as black women feel like, hope y'all can hear especially it. Especially when we get to a certain point in our life, we feel like we need to settle. We just feel like we need to rush to get into something because maybe we want to be married by a certain age, want to have kids by a certain age. And I think that is not how we should view love at all. I think we need to always remember that we are the prize and set your standards high and don't ever, ever settle. Okay. So that was what. Miss Lori Harvey. Poor man saved every penny for 20 years oh. and used all. Okay. So that's what Miss Lori Harvey was talking about, right? About know your non negotiables. Now, I feel I'm going to talk about this for both men and women because, like I said, this is about us building a bridge towards each other, not separating. Okay. Now, my first thing with everybody should have their non negotiables. Okay that they're not going to tolerate certain things, they're not going to tolerate abuse, they're not going to tolerate disrespect, they're not going to tolerate, you know, certain things. Those should definitely be your non-negotiables, okay? Now, with the whole prize business, right? My my friend is, 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 a, is a gentleman, and he was livid by the whole prize situation. And I'm like, why do you feel that way? And he was basically explaining to me that he felt that, yes, women are to be pursued, but that does not mean that they are the ultimate prize, that this is it, this is, you know. And I have to agree with him, okay? In entering a relationship, we are both the prize. We should both be pouring into each other, building towards each other. Not saying, oh, you know what, you need to cater to me because... I am the, you know, I'm the, I'm the female here. I, you know, basically because I'm the female, because that's what it basically is saying <laughs> in the reverse of the, of, uh, you know, when we say things about being a male, we're saying because I'm a female, I'm the prize. And that's not true, sweetheart. That's, that's not true. We are both the prize. We are both trying to get closer and build towards each other. So no one is more the prize than the other. So I definitely have to disagree with Miss Lori Harvey that, and I understand why young girls are, um, are saying that she's goals, you know, if I was ignorant, I would think she's goals too, but there's, there's, there's flawed mythology in what she's saying, because again, we're supposed to be building towards each other. Say what she wants is yes. Agree. Thank you. Thank you, sis. I appreciate that. My lock sister. Cause oh, yeah, check out her locks. But on to stay on topic, um, we are, we're both the prize. We're supposed to both be building towards each other. And I fear that she is coming from a fear mentality. We should never be fearing, okay? And I, I have to understand, it is with our culture, right? It is with our culture. Woo! Like I said, clothing malfunction might happen, and it did. Woo! Okay. Good thing we don't have too many people on here. <laughs> See the clothing malfunction. Ah, Lord Jesus, take the wheel. Um, so coming from a fear mentality, 
okay where we have in society that we're we're afraid of getting older okay and that is basically what that is coming from she's like when women get to a certain age they feel they need to be married at a certain age they need to be you know um have kids at a certain age and though some people do feel that way i mean there's definitely culturally some people that feel that way you know have your babies when you're in your late teens early 20s so you can enjoy the rest of your life and rock out some people go by that you know some people want to be more established and have kids later on in life thank goodness right to the lord and blessing great minds for us to be able to have science so that people are not they you don't have the same choices that you had in the in the past right you have even more choices now there's fertility banks there's certain things that you can do right to prolong those those wants or needs that you might have right and i feel that it's going very fear based because women are doing so much right now okay people are doing so much right now you know there's women that are going on to their second careers or um just doing just fascinating things and i just find that going to uh going into the negative and saying oh you know it being placed in fear and i'm saying you shouldn't have any fear at any part in time in your life you should never because everyone is running their own race your race is not my race my race is not your race and everybody's going to be at a different point in their life even the person that you're meeting you know um i've just started you know dating older than me and you know they're they're significant like before i, I used to date like two to three years older now it's like a significant age gap where it's like 10 years um difference and i can see you know that we're at different stages in life but we're able to learn from each other while they're moving towards you know looking towards like retirement and things of that nature yeah girl getting getting older talking about talking to midnight talking about retirement and stuff like that doing doing 401ks talking about wills and all that stuff learning new shit learn new shit okay so yeah so i feel that there's growth you know in being able to date at certain at different stages and if you're ready to basically have a family then that's what you're ready to do you shouldn't feel pressure by family or anybody else it should be an intrinsic want that you have because lord jesus there are so many people that have had children that they did not want and it shows it shows in how they care for them how they don't care for them you know and these babies need to be loved so i don't feel that anybody needs to be put in you know having kids that they don't want or putting doing anything that they don't want because it just causes more sadness and anger and mental health um issues in the world because you could be in a relationship with somebody that you necessarily don't really love and when you're going to act on that behavior people feel like Oh, it's not going to show. It shows in, in, in what you think shows in your behavior and shows in your actions. Okay. Cognitive behavioral. Okay. So what you do, what you think is going to show on what you do. So if you don't want something or anything, it's going to show. And a person that loves you shouldn't have to be mistreated because you didn't want to marry them. Because you were like, oh, it's it's time for me to. No, don't put those barriers on you. And I, we should never come for we should never come from a fear based mentality when looking for our significant other. I, like I said, I believe in you know trying to find that person that you're going to share your life with. When I get married, that's it. That's done. Like somebody got to die first, okay? Somebody got to die before we we separate from each other. So I just feel that yeah, that was it was completely fear based in that. And okay. Another thing that I had a disturb that I was kind of disturbed with is she was saying um, have high standards. What are high standards? And when it comes to Lori Harvey in particular, we don't know really what her standards are because she doesn't have the average standards of other people. What is what is going on? I don't know what's going on with my jazz. Okay. So.
So, um, let me see. I lost my train of thought real quick. Yeah, so high standard. She's not choosing from the average bowl, okay, that other people are choosing from. And that's what kills me, right? She's like, keep your standards high. I believe everybody should have high standards, okay? But they need to make sense. And the standards out here that people are procreating is nonsense, okay? Like the list. Like, you know, all the expectations that people have going into, you know, starting in these new relationships are not, they're, they're not real, okay? So, again, with the high standards. As my friend would say, she's not in the pool where she's talking to the Pookies and Ray Rays. They out here for us. We got the Pookies and the Ray Rays, okay? She has, and I mean, in morals, there's Pookies and Ray Rays in the entertainment business, okay? We got Future. He's definitely a Pookie and a Ray Ray. However, <laughs> as far as access, they do not, they're not the Pookie and the Ray Ray. They are the high standard men um, or considered high value men um, based on their financial tier, their financial bracket. So what do you mean when you say high standards? Do you mean them having, being emotionally intelligent, them being mindful? Um, let me see if I'm, let me read the comments. I haven't. Looked at them today. Uh, Fatilla Photo says it don't get no higher than Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he seems like he's great on paper. Fatilla Photo says she's waiting for an alien. <laughs> he, I mean, all the gentlemen outside of Future looked, appeared great on paper. And it's like, what are those? What are those high standards? And I think that a lot of times people are looking for materialistic things. As, as the high standard and when because everyone is talking to me about the Lori Harvey situation and I find to, to be completely honest with that to me it's about the sex I, I've said that in my last um uh Kay Nicole After Dark and I'm going to say it again I believe that it's about the sex because when you're in the courting stage when a guy is wanting to date you it's not like you guys are going 50 50 on a date Okay, this person is pouring into you, okay? And usually as a woman gets to know a man, she's not necessarily pouring back to him equally, right? More of the time, as it's been told to me and as I've noticed, you know, um, men, even in modern times, because it's like back in our, our, our archaic times, we expected men to do certain things and everything. And we still have that standard, right? So that it's never going to be 50-50. It's always going to be uneven. And it's going to most likely start uneven because the man is the pursuer. So if he's supposed to pursue and he's supposed to go after you, right, that is possibly being, paying for dates, doing gifts and everything like that. So she's building a wealth of closets, you know, storage of things that people, that these men are gifting her and that she's, you know, keeping or whatever case might be and growing quite a collection because you can't tell me that you're going evenly into the relationship. So that's what I'm saying about having high standards. Like, what are you really looking for when you're expecting? And we're all on the outside looking in to find out, to see what her standards are. But I feel for the average person, your high standards should not have to do anything with materialistic means. It has, should have to do with everything, with the emotional intelligence, with their mental capabilities, with, you know, <laughs> how they regulate themselves, period. So it really needs to be taken into consideration as far as that's concerned. Then this next thing I want to break down is the negative connotation of settling down, okay? The denotation of settling down is that we're supposed to be able to find the person that we want to spend our life with, quote unquote, settle down. So that means that we're buying a place, a permanent residence, okay? Because a single person is ready to jet set, move all around. So if you're settling down, so to speak, you are finding a permanent residence with this person. You are now having kids right because that makes you settle 
in even more. You're not all over the place, right? Because kids make you buckle down, you know, quote unquote, settle. So I find that to be, that's the denotation, right? But the connotation is, oh, you don't want to settle down. It's bad. It's a negative thing. And it's only a negative thing if you settle down with somebody that it's not evenly yoked. That's, it's only a negative thing if you are settling for someone who doesn't have your best interest at heart. That's the only way settling down is a negative. Settling down should never be something that you're, you know, that you're worried about or concerned about, you know, and she's like, never, ever settle. And it's like, settle how? There in life and in dating and in relationships, you have to have compromise. So sometimes you have to settle it to be able to have peace because who wants to have rah, rah every single day of your relationship? So you'll have to settle things. You'll have to be calm with things. And I think that, and what disappoints me, and like I said, we are not afforded the same opportunities that Lori Harvey has. She has come from a two parent household. One is a, is a, is a, is a known relationship guru they both have a lot of relationships under their belt she's not like the average as where she doesn't know how to move she's a mom and a dad both multiple relationships you know she she has more wealth of knowledge than the average person out here that's just walking around trying to date and stuff like that so to me I have to pay attention to the messenger that's saying it because what she's saying and what she's doing doesn't quite add up. It doesn't quite add up. And that's when you have to look at somebody and say, you know, is this a person that I really want to follow as far as my life? You know, and I can understand, like I said, to the young people, it can be seemingly appealing because she's able to walk away. Um, and you should be able to walk away. You know, I'm not saying that, no, if you, if you're not really wanting to be there with that person, you shouldn't be having sex unprotected and you shouldn't be doing things that can leave you with walking away with STDs or with a baby in tow. If that's not, if you don't see your life with spending your life with them, you should not be walking away with those two things. Now, if you saw them and suddenly, you, you know, settling with them and you see a marriage and everything like that and they so happen to have what herpes or something like that then and you decide to lay with them and everything like that then you run the risk of potentially catching you know said sti but you knew what the risk was going in and you were unsheathed or whatever case might be but if you're just playing and you're just having fun in the sun, then you need to strap up. You need to always keep it safe. And I think that um, people getting caught up with, oh, it doesn't feel good or whatever the nonsense is. Your life is more precious than it feeling good. I'm just going to be up in front with you. Your life is way more precious than it feeling good. And I know we got, you know, the Sukihanas and the um, Sexy Reds telling us, you know, one thing. But I'm telling you. Take care of your life. Take care of your life. Because everybody is living in the moment right now. Take care of your life. Okay. So that's that's number one. Um, how much time do I have? Okay. Because I'm going to keep it short. Because um, I was late and everything like that. And even though I'm drinking this wine, I really shouldn't. My throat. But, you know. What I do, what I do, because we're going to have a great show. Um, so, in any case, settling down, I believe, is a positive. Okay? Again, you don't want to settle down with someone that's not evenly yoked for you. But if you love them, you can see a future with them. Settling down is neg never a negative. They're never going, there's no perfect person out here. Even when they say, oh, they're, they're perfect for you. There's going to be times when you 
see your significant other and you want to scratch their motherfucking eyes out, you know, or <laughs> you you just like you know, you just you just don't you just want to lose it all on them. But those days should pale in comparison to the good days, to the times that y'all spend together and be able to enjoy life. And that's what it's about. Really, it's about enjoying life with your best friend. And you can, and what I'm, and what I implore people to do, and I don't know why people want to be serial monogamous, like you don't have to be, you don't have to be. And you, and I, I understand that we are living in such a promiscuous time. Like I'm calling it what it is. Like, and I'm not, I'm not faulting anybody for it. Live your best life as long as you're living safe. Cause who am I to judge? But what I do say is that it's okay not to be in a relationship and just date and tell somebody, you know what? I want to get to know you. I want to see where this goes. Don't have sex. You don't have to. Dating does not mean y'all have to explore each other's bodies. Like I've told, like I've said in past videos, soul ties are real. Okay. And eventually you and your body are going to be burnt out and it's going to take a mental toll on you as well. It's not just a physical toll. It's a mental toll that it's going to take on you. And I'm, and I want y'all to be aware because I have young people that follow my channel and I have older people that follow my channel, but sometimes age is nothing but a number, oftentimes, because I see people out here that are older than me doing silly shit. So, you know, be, and I'm just saying like, don't even go like necessarily by me, do your own research, see what, see out there, you know, because sometimes I'll be honest, um, I try to live as close to what I say as possible. But at times I can be hypocritical as, as well, you know, for it, to, for it to fit the situation. But the thing is I have to be honest with myself. And that's the one thing that I think that a lot of people are not doing right now is being honest with themselves about the actions and stuff that they're taking and they're trying to justify it. No, you don't have to justify shit. If that's who you are, that's who you are. You know, don't, 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 um, Try to make an excuse for it, accept it, and, you know, try to be better if that's what your goal is. If you're not trying to be better, then say, this is bitch, this is who I am, accept it or not. And people will accept it or not, you know? Um, but yes, um, with this whole Lori Harvey situation and what she's stating, it sounds good. But I got to look at where she comes from and where she comes from and what she's saying, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't even make sense for the average person because like I said, you should never work from a fear-based mentality. You should never feel that you are the sole prize. You guys are working towards common goal. And the common goal is to flourish in your lives, have a great life, possibly have babies if that's what y'all want and you know potentially give back to the earth you know because I feel like that's really what we're partially here to be yes we're able to conjoin and build and love and everything like that but we are still supposed to help each other in just um a familial love with each other you know as as a people you know so I believe we should be constantly giving back, you know, but that's me. Yeah, I don't have to go by what I think. Um, but yeah, think about the messenger that you're, that you're following and the people that you're following because everything that glitters out here is not gold. Instagram is just what, what do they say? It's just a highlight reel of people's lives. You can post whatever you want. You're not posting you know, I'd be damned if I see somebody really posting negative shit about their life and stuff like that. You know, if they did, a person would probably more likely reach out to help them because they would think that, you know, they're probably going to do something to themselves or whatever case might be. 